Welcome to this new recon for the Zwift Racing League. This recon is for the Glasgow City Crit Points Race. This is going to be a very short and punchy 15 kilometer race around Glasgow. Two point segments, the champion sprint and the Clyde kicker. This is going to be fast and furious. Let's get in to this week's recon. All right, thanks for joining me for this recon of the Glasgow Crit Circuit. We raced this back in the semi-finals of last season, and we should be maybe grateful that we're not repeating the race distance of that event, as this time around, it's only half the number of laps, so we're doing five laps this time on the Glasgow Crit Circuit. But that does mean it's gonna be fast and aggressive racing for those segment points, especially as we're gonna hit the first sprint of the race within the first 500 meters. So being warmed up for this is critical and the gloves are gonna be off straight out of the pen. Okay, before we get on course and take a look, let's look at bike choice and power-ups for this race. We can then also try and figure out some team tactics to try and maximize those team points. All right, bike choice for this one. I suggest going full aero in terms of wheels and frame. So bikes like the Specialized Venge with the DT Swiss disc wheels, the Felt AR also a good option with exactly the same wheels. Lower level riders, go for something like the Canyon Air Road with a Zip 808 or similar for this particular course. All right, so in terms of power-ups this week, what I would say are the classics. So we have the Feather, the Draft, and the aero, and these power-ups will be random at each banner. I would suggest ensuring to have the team on Discord and use the power-ups on the segments that you need to focus on. So going for FTS or FAL points, again, pick the power-up. So the champion sprint, if you have draft or aero, and for the Clyde kicker, if you have the feather. Although I will say that the Clyde kicker, if you punch it right, use a flat section in the middle, of the two rises, you can also use the draft and aero really effectively on that segment. All right, before we jump into the race footage, let's take a quick look at these recon notes. Remember, these recon notes are available over on the community pages of levelvelo.cc. For these recon notes, I have highlighted the two segments for each of the five laps, including the champion sprint, which is during the lead-in and does count towards those points. So stay alert right from the gun. All right, so for points, as this is a points race, we of course still do have finish line points. But if you and your team are looking to win your league, maximize your chances of victory at the end of the season, you need to be going for segment points. Both FAL, that's first across the line, but also the FTS, which is the fastest through segment. Remember though, FTS points are for the top 10 fastest times through each segment for the whole race, not each lap. FAL points are active for the top 10 riders each time you pass each segment. Discuss with your team who is going for which points and be prepared to adapt that plan in the race based on the power-ups you get and also what's happening on the road. All right, just before we get on course, next week we are back for a team time trial. So don't forget to come back and check out that recon. During next week's recon, we're gonna be launching a giveaway, a bit of a competition of some level velo indoor cycling clothing, so you don't wanna miss that. More details are coming next week. Don't forget, as always, like, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and always try and leave a comment down below the engagement really helps. More than anything, I love reading the comments and responding to your comments as well. So I really appreciate that. Right, let's go. This footage is from last season's semi-finals on this course. Okay, so as I said, make sure you're really warm before this one starts. The racing out of the pens is gonna be full gas. And as I said, we leave the pens and head straight towards the first passing of the champion sprint. This sprint is 200 meters long, it's flat and it's super fast. Don't go too early, but at the same time, you don't wanna to be too far back. Sit in the front 10 to 20 riders and watch for any early moves on the front. 
Try and balance the effort until you hit the segment start marker, and then go full gas. Drive through the riders to the front to maximize your draft. Try and aim to cross the line just as you pass that first rider in the group for FAL and FTS points. Once you've gone through the sprint, try and take some recovery because the Kai kicker is soon be approaching. For those riders in the team that didn't go full gas on that opening sprint, you need to be watching for counter moves, which go over the top of the sprinters and mark those out. Don't forget, even if you're not going for the sprint points, you still need to be pushing the pace just to ensure you stay in contact with that front group through and after that sprint. This section in between the two segments is flat and twisty, but just stay alert again for any moves looking to take FAL points on the kicker. All right, so we'll arrive at the foot of the Clyde kicker at kilometer 1.3, and it's stage, it's like a two-stage punchy segment. You'll have some good speed as you take the right-hand turn and hit the first small rise. Don't surge too hard here, but do increase the power a little bit just to hold position. There are a number of ways to approach this kicker in the second section of this climb. Dependent on your power up, I will usually use the flat section to punch the power, lift the momentum before we get into the steeper section. This really helps with the speed. You will normally have a few riders who do exactly the same thing around you. So again, use them, use their draft to follow before trying to add that final bit of power over the final 20 to 30 meters as it just flattens off to maximize those points. Work on keeping speed and keeping momentum. Once over the top, again, assess what's going on around you with gaps and group sizes. It's likely to be a good sized group still on lap one, but the following laps, after a few hard repeated efforts, there is a good chance the group will start to shrink. Again, if you have good numbers of teammates in the front group, you may want to try some tactics and continuation of efforts or rowing efforts between teammates to try and reduce that front group. All right, so after the kicker, the road takes a right, drops down, then it's a left turn up another small kicker. But again, use the momentum on that small descent and a short, hard punch. You can maintain good position over that rise. It's then a descent back down, taking another right into the undulations that head back towards the champion sprint at the end of each lap, but then also the finish line. Again, staying alert on this rowing section is essential as you'll likely see some riders try and make some early break for the champion sprint champion sprint FAL points. All right, once we've gone this sprint, I'm now gonna skip ahead to the footage from last season on that last lap. It's a technical finish. This one is constantly rolling nature of the course and so many twists and turns. So I have seen races won here in a bunch sprint and with solo attacks. This is likely to be a bigger bunch as it's such a short race, but that doesn't mean some riders won't try and take the chance for an early push for that sprint's finish, especially if that team has a few riders in the group. So again, stay alert. So that's it, that's the course for the Scotland points race. Do the team planning, go and recon the course, but don't forget to come back next week for details of the competition that we're gonna be launching. Have a great week's training, and we'll see you back here for more Zwift Racing Recons next week.